Perfect. Looking good. Welcome, everyone. Hello. To the one hand Hello. clapping release stream. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, my name is Konsti. I'm the community manager at Handy Games. I am with Anna, who is the lead tester of one hand clapping. And joining us today are uh, Zach and Thomas from Bad Dream Games. Introduce Hello. yourselves, guys. Hey, please. what's going on, guys? Uh, well, I'm Zach. I'm the uh, designer for one hand clapping. I'm Thomas. I'm the creative director uh, at Bad uh, One Hand Clapping at Bad Dream Games. Um, yeah, we're excited to be here and play through the game with you. Uh, it's early for us in LA, but um, luckily we're not the ones singing, so we'll just. Uh, <laughs> it'll be played... a like sweet morning lullaby. Uh, Anna has played the game a couple times, so she knows what a she's doing. Of times, yeah. um, a couple times, yeah. Awesome. One Hand Clapping is out on all platforms. Uh, I would, you know, I would name all of them, but I will forget one because it's like 10. So basically, if you have a device that plays games, you can play one hand clapping. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I mean, we could <laughs> list them all off, but it would take about an hour. Right? <laughs> Steam, so, uh, Epic, GOG, Switch, PS4, Xbox, St Android, iOS, Stadia. Yeah. Switch. And, and, and Switch, you, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah, as I said, if you have a device that runs video games, and that's like, you know, at least semi-new. Mm -hmm. you know, Game Boy it, Color would be cool, though, yeah, right? Yeah, it would be cool, it would be cool, but, yeah. you know, difficult from a technical standpoint, I would assume. <laughs> but yeah, you have no excuse. If you live in 2021, almost 22, you can play one hand clapping right now. But if yeah, if you live in 1980, it's difficult. You might have a hard time. You yeah, might find but... a karaoke machine somewhere if you're lucky. <laughs> Get back in that time machine. <laughs> find another timeline, please. All right. Um, I guess we, we will uh, show off a little bit about the uh, forest first. Is that right? I, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, she says. Yeah. And, um, you know, we'll try to talk about it in between puzzles and sort of get your guys' view on, uh, you know, what happened, what's going on, and how the game ended up being what it is. So, let's see oh, no. where this will take us. It's split again. It's split again. We can fix this, I think, like this. Nope. <laughs> Uh, go to <laughs> this happens. Go to settings. Um, what settings? Let's try, try to yeah yeah uh, the video settings and disable full screen. It's not fixing it. It's not fixing it. Well. Classic, classic not sure. random technical issues. <laughs> not sure what. As soon what as you start. <laughs> yeah, it, we were checking. It was fine just then, but now the game is split in two and. Who knows why? Let's see. Is it? It still is. Now's the perfect time, maybe just to summarize. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Please. One hand clapping. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, for so, those of you who don't know. Yeah. One hand clapping. Tell me. Tell us. One hand clapping <laughs> is out today. It's our release day. Yay! Woo. Don't clap. <laughs> um, Speaking of one so hand clapping. So we're very excited, and um, it is a singing game. Yeah. Singing game. So, why does it? Why is title called one hand clapping? What does that mean? Why is one hand clapping and not two? Mm. Well, two hand clapping's you know the potential sequel. Um, <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> but a one hand clapping is um, a singing game, and the reason it's called one hand clapping is. It's based off of the Zen Buddhist koan, what is the sound of one hand clapping? Uh, which is this, you know, strange question um, that still deserves an answer and is that, you know, an answer is expected when it's asked to people. Um, but, you know, because it's such a strange question and it kind of sets, you know, humans apart as being self-aware and, uh, you know, able to consider such a, deep question that um you know maybe a bird can't 
think about what the sound of one hand clapping is. I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't even have to think about it. But um, <laughs> as humans, you know, our answer to that question might be a representation of our own consciousness um, and like how we think and how we interpret the world. Um, and so, you know, there's not really one bright answer, um, but, you know, your answer is probably unique to you know, yourself and your own personality. And so kind of like in one hand clapping, um, there are, you know, goals in the game you have to achieve, but the way you do it is always going to be unique to you because it's the singing game um, where you get to use the sound of your own voice to solve the puzzle. And so it's always going to be creative and reflective of, you know, your own voice, not only just the sound of your voice, but also, um, you know, what you choose to do with it. And yeah. So that's kind of, you know, the roundabout way that this title makes sense. But it also sounds cool and um, kind of uh, fits the vibe of the game, I think. It's a, it's a catchy title that's always important as well. If you have a good story behind it, even better, you know? Mm -hmm. That's really deep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've, good so good deep, news, yeah. we fixed the screen, so uh, Yay. We, can, <laughs> we can show off a little puzzle. Um, out there, you've probably, I mean, if you've played the early access version of One Hand Clapping, you've probably seen the forest by now. Uh, and we'll, we'll go into new territories and I will have to be quiet now to, uh, you know, let Anna solve the puzzle, of course. But uh, I think you guys can, can go ahead and talk about what we're seeing and it should not interrupt her puzzle. So <laughs> take it away. Sure. Well, we can just say that this is a uh, what you're seeing right now is in the fugue forest. Uh, this is one of the early parts. It's all about it's all about harmony and using. You know, you learn melodies early on, but now it's time to combine melodies into a uh, into a harmony. Anna can show us what that looks like. I guess that's harmonic. I'd harmonic. Say so. I would say so, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, Zach, do you want to talk about, um, you know, how we come up with these ideas or create these levels that, you know, require the player to sing and like because you know the one, one thing about one hand clapping is that there's no text in the game and so every puzzle kind of has to teach you how to solve it um on its own um and so uh and there are so many different puzzles in the game and so it's you know kind of this you know interesting way that we have to teach people how to sing and also you know how to play the game simultaneously yeah. Yeah, it's true. There's a ton of, I mean, constantly throughout the game, you're seeing brand new puzzle types. Um, and, you know, they, they, they iterate and they combine with each other. Um, but yeah, it, uh, Thomas is right. You know, constantly you're seeing new things. So this is the first time you're seeing these, these fruits that you have to hit with two, uh, you know, vines that you're controlling with your voice. Um, and it's kind of a, elaboration on an early idea that you see in the desert which is all melody focused you know so we're we're kind of trying to combine uh the ideas of musical elaboration with mechanical elaboration you know so that it's all it's always connected you've you've, you've done one line of voice and now you're doing two lines of voice and so we're putting it in a new setting um but it's, mm. it's something that you're vaguely familiar with so we we are able to, you know, start from something simple that that first puzzle that Anna just did, and then, you know, go on to something a little more complex where you're sort of splitting apart these mm -hmm. melodies, this uh, more interesting harmony. And um, right. yeah, Anna, we can let you play through a couple more and uh, okay, <laughs> show show us how it uh, develops. I will point out, though, that a, a nice little feature of this one, which you may have just heard, is that it'll record your voice 
And so uh, can, you can actually hear yourself kind of looping on top of yourself. Um, so it's, it's not just confined to doing one line at a time. You can see what it actually sounds like combined. And that's a big part of the forest is just, you know, looping your voice so that you're harmonizing with yourself, which is really cool, you know. And this puzzle is cool just because, um, you know, you're singing, like, oscill you're like oscillating between the two um, fruits, but then when it plays back, it's just going to sound like two lines, kind of, but you're, you know, singing in two different ways, so it's like, I don't know, this weird play, playing with yourself, or playing with, you know, the sound of your voice and one hand clapping. Nice breakfast for these. You can hear you can hear the little dip in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, it goes to show that you don't have to be perfect to solve the puzzle. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, it's it's less about, I guess, becoming the greatest singer alive, and more about finding confidence. Right? That was mm -hmm. that is sort of the message behind, um, well, the game and the the story of the game. I would say. Is that fair to say? Yeah, of course. Would you like to solve the next one? I because if you play a few times, you will become the greatest singer alive. That's a guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can try, sure. We need to recalibrate. Uh, uh, I think that's right. Yeah, roughly. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I can do this. <laughs> you can do this. Uh, <laughs> little crack. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I mean, it'll <laughs> do. It'll do, okay? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that will derp, pick. It'll do. I want to see. I want to see. Um, you know, Anna do one, and then Consti, you do the other, and see oh, how it sounds. That's a good idea. We can try actually. that. Yeah. That, that. <laughs> Let's try that. Actually, you do. Only the using one range, though. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be difficult, I think. Okay. Let you do that one. Mm -hmm. Uh. to my range. <laughs> it's not meant to be a, a <laughs> co-op game, but you know, if, if you put it some works. effort into it. <laughs> wow, that is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you, thank you, thank you. We're such a great team. <laughs> We will make it work. Yeah. <laughs> and the theme of the forest, you know, is kind of romantic because it's about harmony. Um, and um, so I don't know, you're adding another layer to it. Usually the romance and like the, you know, the interplay between two people is coming from you and this AI character who we, maybe we can meet later on. Um, but um, yeah. It's fun enough to also hear it between just two different people. Mm -hmm. maybe we can, it's like a musical. Maybe we can skip ahead a little bit because, you know, essentially, of course, the puzzles will get progressively difficult and, and complex. But uh, <laughs> since you've talked about the hermit, maybe we can show that one off. I think harmony, no, yeah, harmony is maybe my favorite hermit in the game. They're all cool. I don't know. Cool. I don't know if I have a favorite, but I don't know. Harmony is just such a great musical concept because it's <laughs> it's very it's very hard to master, I think, but it's everyone will understand harmony, right? Yeah. If you hear harmony, you will know, even if you know nothing about music. It's like a gut feeling. Yeah. You will you will know that something sounds weird or off, even if you have no idea <laughs> why, right? Mm -hmm. 
Mm, yeah, melodies may be like, you know, you don't really know if it sounds good or not just because yeah. it's all relative. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. Music is awesome. <laughs> that is a good Agreed. point. <laughs> the other, uh, not only sounding, you know, good or bad, but uh, the, the, the tone of the music is so much clearer when you have harmony. And that's uh, definitely a theme that we are trying to play with uh, throughout this forest section, you know, the interactions mm -hmm. in particular with her, the melody hermit, mm. or the harmony hermit, uh, changing tone as you go through. Uh, and yeah, I, you know, ideally you as the player are, are, are going to hear that difference, even if you can't, um, you know, verbalize what that mm -hmm. difference is. Yeah, uh, yeah, you yeah. Feel it. Mm -hmm. Should we solve that one together as well, maybe? We can try. I, I do three notes and you do the next one, so I suppose those will be funny as well. Yeah, let's try. Na, o, o, Okay. Let's hear Constable in that in that high range. <laughs> oh no, you don't want to hear that. <laughs> you can actually. I, I made a short video about how to recalibrate for for YouTube you know, for people who might have issues out there, uh, and I I do try, and it's it's not working <laughs> well. You know. So. I forgot what your range was. Mm, yeah. A low G. Yeah. Oh, ah. oh so awesome. Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice duet. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. It works. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Might need to add the co-op tag to Steam now. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. In in official co-op cool. mode. Yeah, yeah, I'm sold. <laughs> oh, love it. And can you see more of the melody hermit? Harmony hermit. Oh, harmony. I, I keep saying. But melody. yeah, it's okay. Yeah, they're so cute. There is a melody hermit though, yeah. Yes. yes. We're not showing. Absolutely. There yeah. Yeah, so the game is split into like you know, there are three biomes. There are seven six or seven biomes, um, but there are um like three of those biomes are you know, melody, rhythm and harmony, with where you meet, you know, the melody hermit, rhythm hermit and harmony hermit. Um, and they all kind of represent different characters in your life and um, have their own kind of narrative arc uh, and, you know, own kind of puzzles centered around those musical aspects. But yeah, here's a call and response section, which there are quite a few throughout the game, um, where you're singing a song. Um, and it kind of, this is like, you know, but it's like an actual song that Zach composed <laughs> um, as opposed to, you know, just singing specific notes and seeing them come together, which is cool. It's really nice. You composed it, Zach. I didn't know. Uh, I wrote the tunes and then uh, Aaron, who is our fantastic composer, is the one who actually made it sound like real music. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, I was Some wondering because in, I, I know, I know you had a good composer. But yeah. Really good job, though. Oh, I accidentally solved it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how good I am. just too good at the game. <laughs> yeah. Here, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to add that the, the music in the game is just fantastic. So mm. shout out at this point to Aaron, because he yeah. did a really good job. It's crazy how many different styles of music there is, you know, 
because it's split into these different biomes that all have their different aesthetics, you know. Yeah, and they all have a different like... feel as well. Yeah. It's just overall lovely. Yes. Uh, it's, it's really a unique experience. Yeah, it is. This is one of my favorite songs for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. It's such a nice en environment. I just want to sit here yeah. and hang out and sing with yeah. this <laughs> jelly flower and for sure. this waterfall. <laughs> yeah, with the harmony on it. Of my cat because <laughs> that, is, that is her that is her call and response as well. Yeah. Sorry, I just needed to, to chuckle because it reminded me of her so much. Aww. Precious. I think Zach was the one who came up with the. <laughs> Sorry. This is the thing I'm, I'm most proud of in the game is that I'm the voice of the jellyfish. What is it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. Maybe we'd like to jump ahead at this point. I think we should jump ahead and yeah. yeah. Uh, while we're <laughs> at it, uh, maybe let's talk a little bit about the history of Bad Dream Games and One Hand Clapping. Because yes. you guys started quite a while ago working on this project, right? Yeah. Um... So the idea came in like back in 2016, so it's been about five years since, you know, the concept for the game began. Um, but that was while, you know, Zach and I were still students. Um, and so we, you know, I worked on the game in a class um, one uh, with two other people, one of which is actually the composer, Aaron, that we were talking about earlier. Um, so he's been on there, you know, since the very beginning, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> And then, you know, we made this one version of the game using singing as a mechanic just to sort of explore it. And then, um, you know, it became our senior capstone project, like our final project uh, in our last year of, of college. Um, and Zach was on that team as lead designer. Um, and we made this like 20 to 30 minute demo that we released on uh, itch.io at the end of the year, the end of the school year. And um, it did really well, you know, lots of people saw it and played it and YouTubers and streamers played it. So that sort of brought this large audience, um, um, you know, to our demo. Uh, and that was just really cool. And we didn't really expect anything, but um, people sort of noticed that it was this fresh idea and it was kind of executed in this cute and, um, you know, intentional way. Um, and, you know, I think they saw the potential in it and, you know, we saw the potential too. And so we took it to a bunch of game festivals in hopes of maybe, you know, the, the dream of making it into a full thing, um, you know, just making what we could out of the situation. Um, and in Switzerland is where we met um, at the Ludicious Game Festivals, where we met uh, Handy Games. You know, they spotted our game and we played it for them and they really enjoyed it. And so, um, you know, they believed in our wild concept of a fully fledged singing game. Uh, and yeah, we couldn't have been more thrilled. And so we began working on the game in the summer of 2019. Um, so it's been a wild ride of a two years as, is, as it has been for everyone. Uh, but um, yeah, just figuring out how to make a full game, um, how to make this game, making it everything we dreamed it could be. Um, and yeah, that's it's just been awesome. So we comprised a team of about, you know, five full-time people and uh, various contractors. Um, so we had, um, I don't know, Zach, if you want to go into who the team. Yeah, absolutely, sure. Um, so it started with 
me and Thomas, we we found ourselves a bunch of very talented people, but also people who are very new uh, to the industry, um, which is very exciting. It was all of our all of our first time making you know kind of a full scale game. Um, we got uh, Charles is our lead engineer. Uh, we got David to do the audio engineering. Tamara is our art director. Um, and Adam, our, our porting engineer, who enabled us to release on everywhere. Uh, and man, it was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, we, we all worked together in the same place for part of that time and then mm-hmm. uh, from home for, for part of that time. But mm-hmm. yeah, geez, yeah. I have, like I said, having it be the kind of first you know, most large scale thing that, that any of us were doing was, um, was very exciting and, and very scary sometimes. Um, but yeah, man, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. We also had, um, you know, an animator who was with us for a lot of the time, a VFX artist who was, um, you know, we kind of had brought them on as we needed content. Um, but they were pretty consistently working on the game. Um, you know, an additional artist, Luisa uh, and Aaron, we brought up earlier, did a lot of the sound design. Um, but, you know, uh, interesting thing about game development is, you know, especially with this game, is that it was hugely iterative. And so for a lot of production, uh, as Anna knows, especially the game was just a bunch of, you know, black boxes and, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, circles and primitive shapes and... Uh, you know, just to get the mechanics down, because that was sort of our main focus is making these unique mechanics and making so many of them um, in each biome. And so essentially we did a full pass of the game without any art um, and without any sound really, just to sort of get the feel of mechanics and see what worked and what didn't uh, and how we could maybe lay them out in the world and how they could seem into one another to help create a narrative. You know, the narrative in a way stemmed a lot from the mechanics that we were using and how we could sort of fit, you know, the same feelings you get from those mechanics um, into a, you know, these cinematic moments as well. Um, and so, you know, bringing on, you know, our animator and VFX artist Ben and Milo is our animator and um, Aaron um, was super exciting as well because all of a sudden, you know, it came to life with the help of, you know, Tamara's art direction. Um, and so that was, you know, such a fun part of the process, but also a lot of work as well. Um, implementing it all and, um, you know, getting what you see on the screen now, um, you know, didn't always look this way. It was just, <laughs> sure. you know, tap placeholder. Um, and I'm sure that's the same for a lot of games, but. Um, yeah, I would say yeah. most, most go that route because, you know, you need to get the mechanics uh, set up and, mm-hmm. and you know the whole the whole vision and concept of the game mm-hmm. dialed in and then mm. everything else has to sort of follow that that main idea i guess and and it really works out like the the art really enhances the experience i would say Absolutely, like it really yeah. give, really gives it character mm-hmm. um, to the point where it's although there is as, as far as I know, not a single word that is being spoken. No. Um, mm-hmm. It really tells a story. And I think that's a, mm-hmm. that is a great achievement in my opinion. It yeah, is, especially. It's difficult enough to tell a good story. Yeah, it, especially because it's not on the nose. Mm-hmm. Like there's mm-hmm. so much room for your own interpretation. I love that. Yeah, and it's, mm. uh, yeah. As, I, as I said, it's, it's hard enough to tell a good story mm-hmm. with a lot of words. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, it is. Much, much more yeah. so with none at all. Yeah. And it really, yeah, it really works out, I think. Yeah. It right. definitely has mm. a vibe. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Anna, where did you take us? Uh, right now, we're in the cave. <laughs> uh, I, di- I didn't want to interrupt our of course. Uh, conversation, sure. so I just... Went Let's somewhere. see some gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is a this is a new uh, a new part of the game. It's, it's a new part of the game that hasn't been part of the early access version. 
Um, I must say, I really like those puzzles because they, like, towards, like, in the cave, there are, the puzzles will get ch more challenging mm -hmm. uh, compared to the other uh, biomes. Um, but I like them. They're good. They're a challenge. Um, yes, I mean, I'm just going <laughs> to... La, 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 la. Um, so speaking of the development of the game, mm. um, what was the most, uh, what are you, what's your, what's your favorite part of developing a game? Um, like what was the most fun, um, phase of the game to you? I can answer this one. Um, my favorite part. Uh, in general, but especially for this game, is the um, is the part where you're kind of in pre-production of a section where you're prototyping a bunch of different stuff, um, you know, and experimenting with all these weird ideas, you know, jotting down terrible designs on paper, and then. Uh, <laughs> You know, putting them in Unity and asking Thomas to play them, and he's like, "Zach, this is the worst thing I've ever seen." <laughs> and I get really sad, and Did then I realize, lot, yeah. that, and I realize that he's right. Um, <laughs> and then you know, starting over, you know, going back to the drawing board, um, you know, it's awesome. It, it it feels so good, and it's emotional. I I do honestly get married to my ideas uh, very easily, and it. Um, we scrapped a lot of stuff. I mean, we, we came up with a bunch of things that just didn't end up working out, um, which is hard, but it's really exciting um, mm. because you 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 know that you made the right decision and you know that it makes everything else in the game that much better that you did these experiments mm -hmm. and tried and failed so many times. Yeah. Mm. That's my it's easier, part. you know, when you come up with so many as well. You can kind of you realize you have too much on your hands <laughs> and to include all of them would just make, you know, such a long game. Um, yeah. And so, it, you know, it, it also giving, giving up some of your ideas is important. And I, I would um, assume that, especially, you know, when you're making a game with such a novel concept, um, there is no way around sort of trial and erroring your way through the whole experience, right? right? Yeah. yeah. That's also scary too, because you're mm -hmm. like, "What are we making? Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is terrible." <laughs> but yeah. you know, once you start, sh it, once you have the core ideas, and you can start actually polishing them and really revisiting them, um, you kind of just have to trust that, you know, there's something there, and you just have to keep looking for it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's like the second best part, I think, or you know, another great part is, you know. You, you make it and then you let it sit for a couple months and you come back to it and it's like, what in the, what was I thinking? This is, <laughs> this is crazy. I'm, I'm so embarrassed. Yeah, that's what I think and, when I look at all pictures of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it goes, you know, for, for a lot of things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, you know, at that point, you're able to take a step back and be like, oh, you know, I actually know where to go from here. Uh, and, that's exciting as well, and then you do it again, and then that's even better. Yeah. And and what would you say is the hardest part of making a game? Um, mm. In your opinion, what was it for you that was the most um, the most difficult part to overcome? I don't know. I think the hardest part is just tightening all the loose ends. Um, there are so many aspects to a game, and the art and sound, and um, just you know, the weird random bugs or the edge cases in the design. Um, yeah. You know, when you're just laying it out for the first time, and it's you know, in this you know, green or blue sky period where you're just kind of making stuff, and yeah, it's great. And then you know, you start to realize all these tiny things, and so. It just really adds up, and um, you have to stay really aware and um, of 
of the state of the game and how it can be better. Um, and, you know, it seems endless to a certain point and you kind of get sick of it, but um, every you know, tiny change you make improves the experience um, so much. Um, and it, so, yeah, I think that polish stage is also really exciting and nice because you're finally getting to, um, you know, make the game feel like it's um, how it's going to be in its final form. Um, but it's also very tedious and um, exhausting. Yeah. I think the lesson here is that every part of the process is really amazing and also really <laughs> frustrating. <laughs> really hard. Yeah. I can only imagine. Yeah. 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 From my from my experience, like listening to uh, other developers as well, they always say. Uh, starting a game, like starting working on a game and developing a game is easy, but finishing it, that's mm. tough. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what they yeah, usually say. Yeah, it's a miracle. Yeah. But yeah, then, yeah. It's, it's really amazing what you've, what you've created here. I said it to you earlier, but I'm really proud of you. Yeah. It's, it's amazing you. what you what you've built, the, the world and the experience. Yeah, also the intention behind the game, just, um, yeah, allowing the player to to kind of grow in themselves and gain confidence in their voice. Um, you, in my opinion, you really nailed it, um, mm. because obviously I've played it a lot, and it has helped me quite a bit. Um, it's cool. Yeah. Yes. Great. Mission accomplished. Yeah. You really, you really we made, made it. it for you, actually. This is, all a, this is all a scheme by Handy Games to really get, yeah. make you feel better. <laughs> no, no, really. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm super proud of you guys. You've come such a long way. Uh, if I compare it to, um, yeah, what we started out with and just looking, like, watching um, the game develop over time, you just really see how how much the game has grown and um, how much you've improved the experience. Also, from the very start of the early access phase to now, it's it's polished um, and yeah. it's yeah, it's just amazing, an amazing journey to go through. And I can't I can't wait. Uh, for other players to give feedback um, on mm. what their journey looked like and um, what and in in what ways, um, yeah, how they just experienced it. And yeah, it's just I, I can't I can't wait to to listen to to feedback. Yeah. Thanks Me either. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I mean, we've gotten. We've gotten quite a lot of feedback yeah. from the early access players already on Steam and Stadia, and I think, I mean, the vast majority is is very very happy with the game. Yeah. And, um, I I believe that they will also enjoy the conclusion to the adventure. I'm pretty sure it is very well. You know, obviously we don't want to spoil anything, but I believe it's very special. And it is very special. Very enjoyable. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's dramatic. Yeah. It's kind of mm -hmm. conclusive, and yeah. you know, kind of ties a lot of threads together, the cave especially, yeah. um, in kind of its own abstract way, in the same way that the rest of the game is. <laughs> but, um, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, obviously super proud of it as well, especially since you know, it's gone through so many iterations, like we talked about throughout the years. Um, so yeah, I think we, you know, we we really just made what we wanted to make and. You know, you believed in us, and we believed in ourselves, and um, yeah, I'm just excited for everyone to play it and absolutely you know, hear hear what they think. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Um, little let's... little too heartfelt and honest for me. Let's see more gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's let's show a little bit more of the cave. As we said, the the cave is the newest or part of the newest addition to to the game and part of the full release, obviously. Um, so we don't want to show too much um, at this point. You know, 
I want to ruin the experience for others. Actually, I don't want to play this checkpoint. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's yeah. fine. It's too much action for a live stream on that scale. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah, I, I mean, we don't want to uh, drag the stream on for too long anymore. Let's, um, sh let's show a couple more puzzles from the cave. More? Okay. And then... The sample machines are one of my favorite uh, mechanics yeah. because you can make such silly sounds. <laughs> yeah. So I, I love how the cave sort of loops back and you know brings back all these. Well, I don't want to say old, but previous mechanics, of yeah. those previous yeah. biomes, and combines them into a whole new experience. It's really. Mm. It's the start to a great conclusion. Oh, I thought you were gonna make a sound because you were talking. That oh would've well, been I funny. can't. Sorry, I can't. Make a sound. Hey, it works. It works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I can't. Make a sound. Oh, okay. Well, oh. you know. <laughs> Don't fix it if it ain't broke. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah, the cave's kind of all about reflection and introspection, so... You know, kind of working with your past self and understanding it and... You know... This mechanic very clearly kind of demonstrates that. As well as, like, these motifs of, of time and... Um, going back in time and um yeah we oh i went too early oh oh, oh. <laughs> oh no oh. this is the tough one it's tough talking about time as well is uh yeah i've seen a couple <laughs> i've seen a couple um speed runs of previous you know early access versions of the game as, mm -hmm. as, uh, already I assume you have as well, and it's it's actually very impressive <laughs> um, what people are are able to do. Um, What's the record as of now? I, I don't know. I don't know exactly. Hannah wants to know if she thinks she can beat it. Oh, man. <laughs> but I'm I'm excited to see you know how how fast people will actually be able to beat the, the final version of the game. Cause... I'm excited to see that. I want them to beat my record. <laughs> what is your record? <laughs> you know your record? You know it? Uh, it's about it's about five hours. Easy. Uh, <laughs> Rookie numbers. Sounds like a challenge. Rookie numbers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm certain, I'm I mean, certain the, the final will. version does have quite a lot of content, and mm -hmm. depending on uh, how you solve it, and I mean, I haven't, I haven't uh, stopped the time, but uh, I mm. mean, throughout the day when I, when I, obviously I, I test the game a lot, and um, every time it's, it's been around four or five hours when I, when I. I think four. You could do four. Yeah, four hours. I, uh, I mean. I know how well you know the game and how good you are at it, but I, I don't have high hopes that your record will stand for long, because... <laughs> what? These, these, <laughs> these people, these speedrunners... <laughs> no, 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 it's not... No offense, but I just know, you know, this is something that I'm personally interested in with all our games that we, we, we sort of uh, put out there is speedrunning, because I just find it very fascinating, yeah. because... They will. There is a speedrun community for any game, basically, and these yeah, people—they are just a different breed. They just, they just break <laughs> the game, you know, in all ways, shapes, and forms, and try to figure out how to go. Yeah. Well, obviously, as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to that. But, yeah. Um, I think I think next time I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the time and see how how long I actually take. Because I don't usually look at the time, I just know like within my day I manage to do so many 
and so much testing. Uh, yeah, and obviously I also have to pay attention to stuff. Maybe that's of slowing course. me down. <laughs> <laughs> All I hear is excuses. Get on the leaderboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna stop the time. I, I Be the one to beat. Challenge. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. All right. I mean, the funny thing is, like, people sound really good still. You know, oh, yeah. I think they'd sound just robotic or like have these <laughs> cheat singing, you yeah. know, like hacks, like hacking singing somehow. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, no, they just have good voices. <laughs> <laughs> Strong voices as well. Yeah. We go again and again and again. Yeah. Right. Stay hydrated while playing. One hand clapping. I think that's important. That's a good tip. Yeah. <laughs> Hydration is important. It is. Especially when you're singing or talking all the time. Right. Awesome. Always put, important. It's what the waterfall is for, is to make yeah. you yeah. thirsty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, well, I think, this, I think yeah. this concludes our stream for today. I think so too. You want, don't want to keep you guys uh, for too long on your big day. Uh, which, yeah. Time to celebrate. Which again, um, I don't think, at least not in my time, I don't think we've ever experienced at Handy Games a simultaneous release on so many platforms. Yes, that's actually our first time releasing so, simultaneously on all platforms. That is incredible. It's hard to overstate how difficult this is. <laughs> this is very. Yeah. It, it's difficult enough to release a game on a single platform, much, much more so. On all of them. It's so been... I don't know if anyone's ever done it before, actually. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, we're the first. Maybe, maybe. Of course. Maybe. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe on all of these platforms. I don't even know. I don't even know at this point. But what's the word I'm looking for? Anyway. Anyway. Thank you. <laughs> thank you all for for watching. Thank you guys for your time. Massive respect and congratulations for your game. Definitely. Um, you did a great job. I'm, I'm very Thank excited. You. I'm very excited to see where the game will go. Yes. And now that it's out there, and um, yeah, I have high expectations. Personally. No so pressure. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I think we all do. I think we yeah. all do. We all know the potential of this game. We mm -hmm. have known from the beginning. And I think the final product just shows that we were right. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> all, all, everyone involved, involved uh, did the right thing. You guys had a unique, wonderful idea. And you saw it through over the course of many years. Yeah. You can be proud of yourself, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you. We are we, we are, are we are very, very proud, proud of it. Yeah. And, and um and a ton of fun hanging out with you guys this morning. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for you Absolutely. know easing us into this release day. That was thank, good. Thank you for getting Much up needed. so early. <laughs> <laughs> and that no, was uh, good. It's like in, Christmas waking up. I can, I can imagine, yeah. And uh, enjoy your release day. Mm. Thank you so Will much. Do. And uh, yeah, I mean, we'll talk to you soon. We'll see you people out there soon. And um, One and Clapping is available on all platforms. Go buy the game. It's good. Today, go get it. <laughs> get it. Get it now. Give me your money. <laughs> <laughs> get it now. You will not regret it. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. And Hell have yeah. a fantastic day, everyone. Have a fantastic day. And see you next time. Bye. Bye. Adios.